Oh, the history of Sinele came about, well, it started way back in 1598 with Juan de Oñate, came through this area and settled on the banks of the Rio Grande. After crossing the desert with 400 men and women and children and stock, they came across the Rio Grande, which was at that time a very, very big river, surrounded by trees and forest and geese and fowl. And they really felt that they were in heaven. <laughs> anyway, so upon arriving here, they settled here to rest. Through the years, San Elisario has grown from a little, little tiny community of maybe 200, being that it was a presidio and all, and all that. So it has had his, his history as far as outlaw, outlaws around here uh, in El Paso area, especially when the train came. The people in San Elisario did not want the train to come through here. They, it, it went down a little bit further um, to Clint, and they didn't have the foresight to really see what it could really do for the community. So a lot of these firsts that were here, like the Los Sisters of Loretto School, the mm -hmm. St. Joseph School, the county government, all this that was here, there was so, it was the hustle bustle of El Paso, let's mm -hmm. say, the roots of El Paso. It just kind of disappeared when the railroad bypassed San Alisario because they didn't want it and went all the way down to Paso del Norte, which was now El Paso. So then it became a very, very sleepy town. There's a lot of movement as far as progress. We wish it could be faster because some areas need to be conserved. Now the artist market, of course, they're all artists. They're all, mostly they're retired. They're not like working. Sometimes some people are working still. And they come on the weekends to do their art. But I think it's bringing in a lot of tourism, a lot of helping us to bring more people be aware of all this history that is here. Because we have, besides the Oñate, the first Thanksgiving, we have Billy the Kid reenactments. And then of course we have the Salt Wars, some of the guys perform the salt war reenactments and they bring young and old people too and that also has a lot of history and it's history that really is not being taught in school.